Hello and welcome to another level three five minute video. This is part of the beta curve series. Today we're going to talk about the uh, Chaparri low wetness curve. This is a very typical curve and we've got uh, Chaparri low value up there on the y axis. We've got time on the x axis. So what we've done is we've set up our beta. We've got the pulp revolving around. We've got the weight on and every few minutes we're taking a sample of pulp we're putting it on the shopper eagler tester and we're determining its uh, drainage values what's happening in the beginning is our virgin fibers are unaffected by the beta at this stage they've not been there long enough so the fibers are shortish stiff round almost like a set of pencils so you've got here large open areas for the water to drain through quickly. As the fibres circulate round in the beta system and time goes by, we're doing work on the fibres. The fibres are getting crushed between the knives on the beta roll and the knives on the bed plate. So they're, they're getting crushed in that gap. And that force is doing two things to the fibre. It's doing internal fibrillation and it's doing external fibrillation. External fibrillation means it's teasing out fibrils from the surface of the fibre, rather like this. So there's an unmodified fibre, and as we continue beating, then we tease out all these fibrils from the surface, and thus we increase the surface area of those fibres. We're also doing internal fibrillation. Internal fibrillation will result in the lumen being cra uh, crushed. That will make the fibre quite flat, uh, and therefore it will make it more flexible. Because it's more flexible, the fibres will bend over each other and they will fill in the gaps more. As beating time progresses, this is a, just a diagrammatic representation of some external fibrillation. You see we're starting to fill in these holes now and therefore the drainage rate will reduce. As we continue, we fill in the holes even more, the drainage rate will reduce even more. Other things will happen at this point as well. We're also getting fibre shortening, because although we set up our beta or our refiner to do fibrillation, you always get a mixture of fibrillation and shortening. So you've got to take into account what happens with the shortening as well. So a quick summary of what we've talked about in this session. External fibrillation, fills in the gaps between the fibres, slowing down drainage. Internal fibrillation will increase fibre flexibility, that will reduce the hole size, that will also affect the drainage. And we always get fibre shortening going on no matter how little we want it. And the fibre shortening will produce fines and the fines will also slow down the drainage because they will block up all those gaps. Thank you for listening to this uh, short video and please feel free to follow us on any of this social media.